Hi, I'm Gunnar. In this video, I will show you how you can use Quarkus to build Kafka Streams applications, and in particular, how you can use the live coding mode of Quarkus to do so. So maybe you have seen the live coding mode for web applications before. There it will essentially apply any code changes once you reload your website. But actually you can also use the same for Kafka Streams, and this is what I'm going to show you today. So if you have not built any Kafka Streams apps with Quarkus, this is how it works. So all you need is a CDI producer method, which returns your topology of the streaming application. And then there's the application configuration in the application properties file. So here I have things like the bootstrap servers, the application ID, and so on. And the Kafka Streams extension will take care of everything else. So it will manage the pipeline for me, it will await those input topics, and so on. So now for the uh, live coding mode, um, let's see how this works. So first of all, I need to have some messages on input topics. So let me start this producer here. And this is just another Quarkus application. And this just randomly creates some fake temperature values and writes them to some topic. And now here in the actual Kafka Streams application, I'm taking the values from the input topic. And for now, I'm just writing them to the different to this different output topic there. So let me start the aggregator application. So that's the application I'm working on here. And now this is started in the dev mode. So this means the live coding feature is available for me. And I can take a look into the output topic using Kafka Cat. So let's do that. And now I just see the values as they are created. So I'm having here this producer. I have the Kafka Streams application here, which for now just forwards the values as they are. And here I'm looking at to the output into the output topic. So now let's see how I can actually work on this um, streaming pipeline. So let's say I would like to convert the values to JSON. So I'm using the map operator from Kafka Streams. And I'm splitting up the value. And now let's say I would like to return a JSON object. So what I need to do is I return this key value object. I would like to use the um, station ID, that's the weather station ID of my measurement as a key. And then for the value, I'm using this JSON object. And I'm just adding a few properties. So let's say again the station ID. Station ID. Let's add the timestamp. And let's add also the value. And I need to build it, so I'm just calling build to get the JSON object. And now as I'm returning the JSON object here, something is missing. Uh, this was missing. So as I'm returning this JSON object, I also need to use a different thirties. So I need to return or I need to use this JSON object thirty. So now the magic happens. I just hit save and automatically this code change will will be applied. So the client gets restarted, it reconnects to the Kafka broker, and now in my output topic I see those JSON values. So let me restart um, this consumer here, uh, piping the values to JQ, so just I have a nicer formatting, and I can continue to modify my pipeline a little bit, and then we can see how I benefit from the fast and quick feedback I get. So let's say I would like to add this join, so I'm just pasting this in. Um, so now I join the values from my temperature topic with this weather station topic, so just to add the station name. And again, I just need to hit save. It will automatically be applied. And after just a little bit, I see also the station name in my output here. And this way, I get very quickly feedback as I work on this application. And it makes me very productive as I very instantly see what's happening after I change the code. So let me do one more change. I have this method here. Just for the fun of it, I'm adding an icon using some emojis. So let's say I'm adding this value there, add icon icon for my temperature value and once more I just hit save and right after that I now see also my temperature icons there in the output topic and this allows me to very rapidly build and evolve this streaming application in an explorative way and benefit from this quick feedback. So that's what I wanted to show you today. If you like to if you would like to learn more, go to quarkus.io. There we have a quick start on the Kafka Streams extension and you can learn about how to build Kafka Streams applications, how to use the uh, live reload mode and everything else. Thank you for watching.